What's going on dudes, it is Colossalus here, welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Today we are starting to take a look at the heroes that I didn't take, I didn't have a chance to, to go over, uh, just because I was gone. Uh, it's been like four months and there's been five new heroes, there's been, right, I need to get this right now. Right now. So uh, there was Zarya, Alarak, Ariel, Gul'dan, and Medivh. And we're gonna start from the, from the latest release just because I don't really like playing Medivh and he, I'm gonna leave him to the last. Arguably I shouldn't play him, I should play him first to get out of the way, but whatever. Um, so Zarya. Zarya is a very weird mashup. She's from an Overwatch universe, she's a ranged warrior. She's a very weird mashup of a warrior, an assassin, and a support all joined together. Uh, she relies on her shield and on her energy, but we're gonna explain that in a second. Uh, she's really overpowered now. She's comparable to someone, something like Li Ming or Zhu at the beginning, which is just nuts. She, she has like a, a, above sixty percent uh, win rate at the moment from hot slugs. Um, we are joined by we are joined by my girlfriend today, who is sitting almost right next to me, and she's gonna be playing some chromie. So let's go. Zarya, ready for duty. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, you find yourselves on the Warhead Junction, the new map. In order to fully explain Zarya, uh, I have to go into her abilities first. So, her Q ability is called uh, Wet Particle Nuda Grenade. What it does, it shoots a very low damage, unbuffed by it, basically, unbuffed. It's a very low um, particle that deals a little bit of damage in the area. You, you can see it has a huge, huge um, range, uh, cast range. Our W ability, we have Personal Barrier, <clears throat> basically casts a little bit of a shield on myself. E is called Shield Ally, by the way, uh, both of those are for 3 seconds only. Now, her energy is what's important. Um, her energy is her trait, uh, basically when, when uh, one of her shield or both her shields take damage, she is going to be gaining energy. And with that energy, she's not going to be spending it at all she is going to be instead buffing her damage don't judge my um my kind of obnoxious uh, mount combo there uh, but <laughs> and we're gonna try to do, to make the best of it um let's say we'll be laying against the zoo which is never fun i fucking hate that shit. i'll just kind of trade i just kind of trade which i am going to get wrecked no I thought I could out-trade him. Okay, so here is... Okay, so that doesn't deal any damage. Anyway, so you can see, uh, this is actually gonna be a good game just because I can slap my... Um, you know, Butcher is the target that gets focused he very heavily. I'll be able to slap my shield ally on him and expect, basically, uh, for him to generate quite a lot of shields for me. This is actually a knife, knife very nice skin. I also got it myself. I haven't played a single game with, with the reworked Butcher yet, I gotta be honest with you guys. You can see that Zarya's, um, <clears throat> uh, Zarya's uh, basic attack is not uh, you know, just an ordinary basic attack. Um, it's kind of like a beam that attacks everybody in its path instead of you know, just attacking one enemy instead. So you can see I can stand there and here, you know, kind of attack the, the middle enemy and just expect to, you know, the whole wave almost to be attacked. One very important thing to note is that um, when you cast your Q, okay, I'm gonna have to be super careful here. Seriously, like you, you, you're gonna try to challenge this against me? <laughs> like Zarya is super annoying um, to channel against. Like, look, like I'll be able to just stand here. I already have two charges <laughs> of my Q again, and he just keeps charging and charging. Here's another one. <laughs> this is just funny. I don't think I'll be able to charge it up right now. Uh, I may be able to. <laughs> That's just too funny. That's just way too funny. Uh, just because it's so long range, um, I am able to just, you know, basically interrupt. Right, so now Butcher's going in. So Butcher, if 
So I'm gonna give him a shield preemptively. So if he takes damage now, there you go. He, he takes damage. You can see that my energy bar is rising, and I will be able to deal quite a lot of damage now. So you can see. Um, I actually did not finish what I was saying. What I wanted to say was that um, casting a Q when you're uh, auto attacking somebody on low energy will be actually uh, a DPS loss. Will be a hundred percent DPS loss. He Uh, so I should focus on trying to get rid of... Alright, so here's a kill on the enemy. Oh, I thought, I thought I'm going to get them both, but I only got one. Alright, so finally we will be able to... Oh, he's actually dead. He doesn't know what Zarya is capable of. Yeah, man. Uh, so at uh, level one, okay, I'm gonna explain that in a second. But level four, we're gonna go for hmm. other attackers, no other attackers. A shield absorb and reduces cooldown. I'm gonna go for I'm the strongest. I feel like um, I'll be fine. Let me grab that shield. Why do you do this to me? I don't understand. Sure. You can try to kill me, but it's not gonna go well for you. <laughs> right, so at level one, we went for um, a talent. I'm not sure what it's called. It's called Maximum Charge. Basically, you have to spend a little bit of time on my, on uh, above 50% of energy uh, in case, uh, you know, basically in order to finish my quest. And what it's going to do at the end for me is going to increase the maximum energy that I'll be able to store, store which is basically equals more damage. Uh, level 4, we went for just more uh, shields for myself, I believe. Oh, there we go. We, we got another one. I was, I was just, I was just like weird out right there. So there we go. I'm gonna give my shield to the friendly butcher now. The enemy uh, Xul is 100% slowed. <clears throat> it's fine. So there, there's another shield. You can see that I'm, I'm, I'm at 100%. Shields, so I'll be able to just poke away at the enemy team with very heavy particle grenades right now, and just deal quite a lot, quite a massive damage. Um, other than I think we're gonna go to four. Hit me. Hit me is actually very good talent. Uh, basically, uh, damage taken is gonna contribute just a little, a little bit more. Um, just a little bit more damage uh, towards my shield. Ah, she just caught me with that motherfucker. There we go. Gonna just. <laughs> Soak all that damage to basically to gain a lot of energy from it. I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for my cooldown uh, for a long range shot right here. Uh, this tough star is circling around, so he, he's trying to uh, kind of like scout the area, I believe. I'm dead. Yeah. There's nothing I could have done. <clears throat> I kind of over, I kind of overstay my welcome right there. That was my just hundred percent my fault. Should have just backed up, uh, let them get that fort for free. Uh, on this range, I'm gonna go for explosion zone. I think explosion zone is a kind of like a grenade you shoot, and, af and after after you shoot it, it falls on the ground and increases area where people are uh, pulled away, like they're pushed away from the from the core of the of the actual grenade, which is super good. Which is super super good. Uh, people just under, under underestimate. They're they're like super oh, about the other heroic, which pulls everybody in and just kind of holds them together there. And believe me, that would have been very very good. But it doesn't stun them. It doesn't stun them at all. It's just uh, what it does. It just kind of uh, pulls them towards that area, and that's it. Um. So I'm. Oh god, he just got raked. <clears throat> So 
I'm gonna shoot it there, it's just so, so nobody else can actually chase my Zarya. I'm gonna try to walk in, in the middle of the, um, the skill shots from enemy Chromie. Uh, I'm gonna give him some shields, so he, so I, I'm hoping he's gonna take damage, so I can gain some of the shield. I can gain gain some of the shields um, from that damage taken. Oh, he's going in. We're going again, going hard on Chromie. That's what I'm good at. I'm good at mitigating damage towards my, you know, my uh, my front line. Uh, right, you know, right now, like he's taking all the damage. I'm gonna just give him a shield, and honestly, this is gonna be super good for us. Um, so Alaric is gonna pick up that um, that nuke, and he'll be able to uh, nuke uh, basically whatever whatever he desires. Uh, that's just that was just a bad description by me. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, right. So if you guys never played this map, is uh, basically you, you pick up nukes which have heavy damage to structures and minions, not so heavy in, uh, to um, to heroes. And you just basically place it down. It's a very short, short channel, and that's it. Gonna try to shield our butcher here, and looks like yes, he's taking damage. But now we should just go. We should just go, boys. No reason to take that unnecessary damage from the enemy Chromie. I mean, if you want to engage, I I've got the shield for you, so I'm just gonna let him know that I have the shield ally ability already. Uh, oh, Xul find himself very out of position. I'm, uh, here is Ariel in a little bit of a pickle. I'm gonna actually... I was trying to split my team away, but now they put me in the cocoon. And I am actually... And with the, Our friendly team is actually a very big disadvantage right now. I'm gonna come in here, shoot this in front of Chromie. I, I tried, but... I wasn't able uh, to actually to get too much value. Uh, our Butcher that does get taken out. That was weird as fuck. Looks like that <laughs> Lee Ming player did not know how to cancel um, her um, her uh, her heroic right there. I'm gonna grab that uh, grab that nuke and actually show you guys how the nuke actually works. I'm gonna go grab a sippy before uh, that happens uh, just to get some health back. Level 13. I'm gonna go for spell shield. Seems pretty damn good. I'm gonna go for spell shield. Uh, the enemy team doesn't have too much CC, but besides the Nubarak, so I what I'm gonna do. Just gonna put it so it damages everything. So you can see I channel it, and now it just comes down after a little delay. You can see it's gonna deal heavy damage to all the structures. I'm gonna destroy just the uh, tier one defenses. Uh, enemy Nubarak uh, engaging. I'm gonna try to be there on time, but um, I can't uh, guarantee anything. Enemy, uh, enemy, sorry, friendly Alarak uh, killed. Now uh, my baby girl is in a little bit of a pickle. I'm gonna try to get in there and try. <clears throat> so now I'm here on the enemy. Um, Lee Meng, she's gonna get wrecked. Baby, baby, watch out. That was good. That was overall good. We actually did save my girlfriend and we were able to pick up two kills on top of uh, saving uh, a teammate. Good. I didn't explain talents, I'm gonna go over them now. Uh, level 1 we picked up uh, again a quest, which I already explained, but I'm gonna explain again. Um, it's a quest that I have to spend a little bit of time above a certain amount um, of energy. If I do, I'm gonna get a nice bonus of extra... Uh, I'm gonna get a nice portion of extra energy um, to uh, to work with. It's gonna be extra 25. Um, <clears throat> level four, we went for uh, I'm the strongest, which just gives me a little bit more shields for my personal shield. Um, and that's basically just, it's, it's just a static number that just gives me a little bit more shield. I'm gonna actually come here, give shields to my friendly butcher. So he, when, so when he takes damage from that structure, I'm gonna get just a little bit of uh, additional energy. <clears throat> uh, on a level seven, we went for hit me. 
So the shield damage will actually contribute more energy than it already does. Um, now our Alarak finds himself in a little bit of a pickle. The enemy, Buch the enemy Anubarak finds himself using his uh, disengage as an engage and gets taken out. Level 10 we did for the expulsion uh, pulse, whatever it's called. Now try to actually mount up and get in... Shoot in the middle! Oh, god damn it. So close. Yeah, which basically um, pushes people away from where I shot uh, my grenade at. It's kind of a grenade which I shoot. It's, it's actually very short cooldown. 24, 45 seconds only. Very, very short cooldown. Um, Level 13 went for uh, for spell shield, spell barrier on my personal barrier only. Uh, what that's going to do for me is going to actually give me a spell shield whenever I have a personal barrier. Very, very good against the Chromie and the Li Ming we are going against. Super, super good against them. Uh, this this boss is actually not that bad at all. I'm going to try to move away. Um, you can see now the enemy team is a lot of out of position. I'm going to actually give the shield preemptively to my friendly Butcher. That Chromie stopped for no apparent reason. I'm going to just keep fighting away and that's going to be a kill on the enemy Chromie. There's a kill. And we can actually push this. We can actually push this with the boss. No, we don't. We do not really care about... Oh, Tuster's behind us. Tuster's behind us. I'm I'm in a cocoon, so I'm going to let my team know. To be super careful. The friendly butcher goes really deep. I'm going to try to shield him. going to do everything that I can to split him away from our, from the enemy team. Now I'm actually able to body block the uh, enemy Tuster with my uh, with my heroic. And actually to honestly use my energy. You, you, you can see how much per tick... Uh, how much damage I'm doing per tick um, with my um, uh, with my energy basically filled up to the max. Don't really care about um, the damage that the enemy team is doing. I can do much, much more. Plus, I can actually soak the damage because I still have um, uh, my talent. All right now, we should just back up. There's no reason to stay. We're overstaying our welcome, and if we do stay, I, I feel like we're gonna get wiped, even though we are two levels up. Level 16, I didn't still pick it, but it's, we are going to go for Cleansing Shield. It seems like a very kind of supporty um, type talent, which we don't really need because we already have... We already have actually, we, don't, we do not have um, the Crystal, so it might be good. Yeah, let's go for Cleansing Shield. It kind of, kind of gives Cleanse to, to the target of my... <clears throat> Still five seconds. They actually saved them. They actually saved them, by the way. Uh... Oh, God, that was bad. I'm gonna mount up and try to make my way away. You can see I'll be super annoying to actually to kill, but now they get uh, actually the help from the enemy Tassadar, and I'll be taken out. <clears throat> so you can be super supporty when when playing as Zarya. Uh, level sixteen is not that um, competitive when it comes to you know talents. I feel the cleansing shield is the best one. Then the born in battle is is okay. <clears throat> Uh, but your cooldowns are already pretty damn good um, as they are. So Born in Battle might help me, but it's very situational just because you have to be above uh, 75 energy. And it's actually very, very easy to do with level 1 talent, but again, you know, we will be... Um, uh, I, I just prefer Cleansing Show just because, you know, uh, we, are, we are fighting against Anubarak, against the Temporal Loop, so I just, I just prefer it that way. I hope we are fighting against Temporal Loop, at least. <laughs> Uh, yeah, temporal loop. So I can basically cleanse whoever is going in that temporal loop to for them to avoid it. The enemy team does the second boss. We did the first one, if you guys didn't remember. So Zarya is a very, very interesting hero at the moment. She can be played, you know, as a mix of um, as a mix of a tank, an assassin, and a, and uh, a support. Uh, basically, you know, getting to mitigate the damage that uh, you know, the enemy team is doing and uh, all the other stuff. I can actually mitigate damage that you know the the, the boss is doing as well. Uh, he shoots off like this little uh, 
can we kind of scut up, scut up things that, you know, that explode, and, you know, they're gonna explode right here, and then they're just gonna give me, you know, just free energy. Um, we're gonna kill the boss, and we're gonna be all good in the hood. I'm gonna grab... The friendly team is just, just going on rampage, even, like, I wasn't even paying attention. Which is good. Uh, on, this level, on this level range, we're gonna go for unyielding defender. What it is, is basically, uh... <clears throat> It is a rewind, but only on your shields, only, because your shields are just you know, are just a staple of your of, of any of the of the builds that you know that you're relying upon. It's, it's just a staple of, of anything that you're doing. I'm gonna try to come in here and try to save our butcher from an imminent death, which he is facing, um, and we are able to do just that. And we are, actually we are able to maybe push this a little. <clears throat> Maybe not a little bit, just because I have this cooldown means that we will be able to push this, push the shit out of that. Two nooks coming down. I'm just gonna do this. Um, here come, uh, here comes unyielding defender, defender, and I'll be able to just shoot this there in case anybody wants to uh, wants to use that route as an escape. But we'll be we'll be just able to win the game right here. I'm just gonna focus the corner. That's, that should be game. I just have way too much damage from um, from the from the shield themselves. Hopefully that wasn't too boring for you guys. Hopefully I explained Zarya pretty well how she works and how she's broken with a kind of a melee heavy comp, which we did have. We had Butcher, we had Alarak, my uh, my precious baby girl. Uh, she is MVP of this game, best hero damage in the entire thing. And I'm not even there. That sucks, but what can you do, right? <clears throat> I didn't play well enough. <coughs> right, um, I'm gonna go over the build again, just so you guys know what to play when you play Zarya. Like, I don't know if, if you're struggling. I mean, there are so many ways of playing her, it's just it's just crazy. I ju just unlocked my favorite skin for her, by the way. Uh, and that is the second tip. Look at that, it just looks real damn good. And uh, we're gonna change the mount to be something else. Maybe that. Yeah, let's change it for that for now. But anyway, so Zarya on level one, I like to go for maximum charge. A lot of people tend to go for it together. We are strong, but I feel like she can fill up her energy even without the additional, you know, energy per per whatever. So basically, what it does is every ten damage done by allies while under shield ally contributes one energy up to twenty five energy per shield. So you basically can generate a little bit more shields um, <clears throat> by your allies doing damage instead of just taking it, which I didn't really feel like you needed this um, just to fill up your energy. Uh, I feel like it's actually better to have a biggest to have a not biggest bigger uh, instead uh, rather a bigger um, damage from just having a bigger pool of energy uh, being be it up to 125 uh, so I took <clears throat> maximum charge which what it does and a region now gives me 20 20 instantly 20 energy instantly and also when I spend 120 seconds above 50 energy I will gain 25 additional energy <laughs> Four, I went for I am the strongest, but also defensive shielding is super strong. What it does, it gives two charges of block for 12 seconds. That's just crazy, for 12 seconds. So if you shield somebody or shield yourself, uh, <clears throat> basically your target of your shield, it'll be yourself or somebody else, uh, will be gaining two stacks of block. So against an Illidan, against someone like Vala, like Raynor, like Sergeant Hammer, that is super, super strong. I went for I am the strongest because the enemy team did have a, a he, like a heavy team that relied on engaging and then finishing the enemy opponent with her with their abilities. They had Li Ming, they had Chromi, and they had the engage with the uh, with Anubarak and stuff like that. So <clears throat> also another another uh, one here that's a very competitive by the way t talent here is give me twenty. Regeneration Globes increase shield that ally absorb amount by 15 up to 300, so you can extend it at level 1. Uh, it gives about 437, so you can extend it to 700 at level 1. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy good. Um, 
So after collecting 20 Raging Globe, apparently you reduce the cooldown of Shield Ally by 3 seconds. So you increase the the just the, the, the static amount of the shield that your allies get by 300 and then also reduce the cooldown, which is by the way, the base is 12, I believe. Yeah, the base is 12, down to 9 seconds, so it's actually shorter than your own shield, uh, which is super, super good. So if you find yourself, if you find know yourself but your ally is dying a lot, you know what to go for. <clears throat> Level 10, 7, I went for the hit me, but to the limit is also a very good choice. So when you're above 50 energy, your basic attack size, you know, your beam which you're attacking with is 30% wider and 35%, uh, just, it's 35% bigger, which means it's longer and wider by 35%, super, super nice. I went instead for hit me. Damage absorbed by Zarya's shields contributes 20% more energy, so you'll be just getting more energy. So you see, on level 1, I take care of just extending my pool of energy, and then at level seven, I went. I went for just making sure I'm gonna hit the maximum. If you see what I mean. Uh, at level ten, I went for explosions only. I just feel like it's a little bit more impactful because what it does, while the enemy is getting pushed away by the um, by the, it's it's almost the same as the Emerald Wind. From Brightwing. When somebody is getting pushed away by, by the ability, they can't use anything. But when they're getting pulled in by the Gravitron Surge, which is what it is, it's, it's, it launches the, the gravity bomb that get detonates and pulls everybody in uh, for 2.5 seconds. They're not stunned. They're just kind of rooted in that place. They can still use abilities, they can still use all the basic attacks and everything. They're just kind of brought together you know, for all the combos and whatever you are actually going for. So I just feel like explosion zone is a expulsion zone. Sorry, it's a very good kind of zoning material. Uh, it's for three point five seconds, and also applies a fifty percent slow for one second right after they're knocked back. Super super good ability. And on level thirteen, I did well. I did go for spell barrier just because we were going against the Li Meng and the you know and the Chromie. So when they you know when they got their damage and I had my uh, W up, I just had a fifty. Sorry, not fifty, but seventy five percent ability damage reduction. So just crazy, crazy how good this is. Um, if they had a, a CC heavy comp, I would have went for unstoppable competitor. I know a lot of people tend to go for endurance training, uh, gain and resistance at high energy. They just get a flat damage reduction at high energy so when you're above 75 of course this is easier if you picked up the level one talent you know the higher energy talent on level 16 i went for the cleansing shield just because they did have you know um the new brag they did they did have lost to see like you know like the the temporal loop and everything so i wanted to be that support that our our earlier our aria wasn't she didn't take you know the the crystal ages which allows her to be kind of like a cleanse. Um, so I, I felt like cleansing shield would be something good. Uh, Born in Battle is another very good one. It also allows you to be a better support, the Born in Battle, just because it reduces the cooldowns when you're at high energy. But again, it's situational. You have to be at, at above a certain level of energy. At level 20, we did go for Unyielding a Defender, which seems to be the flat out best uh, to level 20 uh, Storm talent. It's, it's basically just you just activate it. It's, it's almost like uh, what's it called? Um, it's a rewind. It's a rewind, but only on your shields. So you can cast your both of your shields and then rewind to cast them again. It's just super super good. Again, you know, going with your level thirteen talent, going with your level um, four talent. Just kind of further synergizing with the build itself. So, Zarya, super, super good at the moment. If you're looking at the moment to pick her up, this is the best I think you're going to get. Uh, she's going to get pre nerfed pretty, pretty soon. I'm, I'm going to be surprised if it's not going to be this week, this week, in this week's spot. Just because she's, she's so good, along with Malfurion. Mm. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, and you, you did enjoy you know, all the in-depth info I gave, um, I hope for you, hopefully you stuck away with um you know with my kind of rusty commentary i've been away for quite a while now but whatever we're not gonna get into that i did stream today for about three hours it was a, it was a super it was a super good stream i enjoyed myself a lot of people i know enjoyed themselves when they came in we streamed some mafia 3 today so if you're interested in any kind of streaming i'll be streaming mostly uh heroes of the storm but i'll again i'll be looking at you know the newer releases plus hearthstone here and there 
So if you're if you're interested in that and a super awesome atmosphere and a friendly streamer and somebody who can help you and will be there with you and you're basically all the way, come over and there will be a link down in the description below. So again, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like a rating. If you haven't enjoyed it, you know what to do. Leave a down you know leave a down thumb rating uh, rating and tell me what was wrong with it. Tell me if I was boring, if I was monotonous, if my commentary sucks, if my guide sucks, whatever. Just tell me. And then also remember to subscribe if you really enjoyed the video for more content. I'm actually going to do this full time now, so I would really appreciate your guys' support. I think I've said uh, enough and a little bit too much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace on the motherfucking streets. Bye.